Bitcoin has had, had Bitcoin yesterday had its biggest or its second biggest. Bitcoin yesterday had its second biggest net inflows since the start of the ETFs. Welcome back to the Crypto Bliss Show. Today, I am going to share you share with you a bunch of charts, a bunch of information that you're want to, going to want to know today in this video, because if you don't have any access to that content and you haven't seen what's going on, you are not bullish enough. Okay, welcome back to the Crypto Bliss channel. Thank you for being here. I'm Kiara Dukas. Let's get going, guys. Bitcoin, it's happening. I told you guys yesterday that Bitcoin was busy breaking out. It is busy breaking out. We actually had a buy signal on the previous day's candle here from my UT bots on the daily time frame. Guys, the buy is happening, whether you like it or not, whether you believe it or not, people are buying Bitcoin. And the second wave of institutional inflows is about to come. How many waves we have ahead of us? I have no clue. But what I would like to say is we're still going up. Don't be fooled by what any of the FUD out there actually has to say about crypto. So thank you for being here with me today. And I truly appreciate you being part of my crypto channels. You can see here that it is that I'm sharing some crazy stuff with you because yesterday, uh, Spot Bitcoin ETF uh, bought 12,508 BTC while miners only produced 450 BTC. I said here, a supply shock is coming. If you are not watching this right now, I don't know what to do with you because, um, you know, even Mr. Robert Kiyosaki here said, my target uh, is 300K by end of October. So I say that 300K by end of October 25. Mr. Kiyosaki has a massive target um, and it's earlier than mine. I love this because I am personally extremely on, on, uh, bullish on crypto. Are you bullish on Bitcoin and crypto? Let me know down in the comments below. Mr. Kiyosaki believes that 350K could be hit by August 25, 2024 is not a lie. It's a prediction. It's a speculation. It's an opinion. It's not a lie. It's sucker's bait. But if it's not lie because any prediction about the future is a lie, I want Bitcoin to be 350k. Anybody wants Bitcoin to be 350k. So if you have been enjoying this, make sure to subscribe to the channels because I'm bringing you some seriously crazy offer right now. So let's start off here. Today, the Bitcoin and um, Fidelity says, a small Bitcoin allocation makes sense regardless of your personal thesis on cryptocurrency. And this is according to CNBC News. It doesn't matter what you have. Now, if you are subscribed to my channel, you would know that down below on this little corner here, I have the Bybit link that can get you up to $68,888 bonus. Mine will get you $88,888 bonus. Use my referral link down in the top, down pinned in the description below for you. And then you can also go ahead and get a $30,000 deposit bonus on Bybit when you use my link down here below and down and below in the description and we can trade and make some massive gains together. So you can see my trade is in really good profit here. The majority of my, in fact, all of my trades, ETH is up 271%, Gala is up 30%, and my Casper is now up 370%. So we're continuing to go long on these trades and we're just getting started. So we're making good money here together if you are part of the Crypto Plus community. If you are, make some noise, show some love for the YouTube algorithm. So starting here, Ali charts, Bitcoin appears to be breaking out from a symmetrical triangle. A sustained close above the 69,330 resistance level could send BTC to 74,400, which would create another, let me hear it, let me hear it down below, new all-time high. So shout out to Ali Charts for that one. I did show you in my own personal charts here um, that essentially this here is was the start of the triangle, but here it is kind of widened a little bit and it is a little bit more of a symmetrical triangle shape. Now, the most crucial support level for Bitcoin is now at 68,500. That is over here, essentially where the um, realized price distribution, unrealized, sorry, UTXO, un, um, realized price distribution uh, has been in place. So if BTC maintains this level, it is only up. 
from there, which I do agree with. We're going up. Look at the buying power here. We are having strength come into this space. Now, according to Bitcoin Manga, whales have been stacking throughout this entire consolidation. Probably nothing, right? Well, very interesting to see because this is the supply held by addresses with a balance of more than 1k Bitcoin. So the the golden line is the supply, the supply held by addresses with more than one Bitcoin and the BTC, the black line is the BTC price. Look at that disparity there right now, guys. The supply shock is incoming. So if you did not see what it is that I said to you here, check it out. You are in for the ride of your life if you have not got any Bitcoin at this point. Okay, let's move on from here. So, also another one from Charlie, uh, Bitcoin Manga. Bitcoin weekly RSI is above the 70, suggests that we are about to see the next leg run. Okay, we're above the 70. Feels very reminiscent to the 2017 where we had six pushes above the 70 RSI before popping up. One, two, three. Maybe another three more to go. I wonder how high the Bitcoin price could go. What do you think about the Bitcoin price and time of that? Let me know down in the comments below. And um, at the end of the cycle, I will definitely and undoubtedly create an awesome prize for the one that gets the closest down in the comments of this particular video. So make sure to subscribe for more updates on that. Another one here. Three day MACD, and we'll have a look at this now on the charts, but three day MACD looks like this. It might make sense to just get some in case it catches on. Guys, it is breaking. It's it's like it's like Superman is kind of waking up from his, you know, kryptonite dizzy spell, and then all of a sudden <laughs> straight through the roof with a godlike candle all the way to 100 k 103 k undoubtedly so. Now with the second best day of BTC inflows, the BlackRock iBit bought BTC today with a net flow of $275 million. BlackRock inflows are back as I told you last day. BlackRock will buy so much Bitcoin that we will get that supply demand shock I have been preaching about. This is according to Seth Finn. Um, so they bought zero here for a few days. There was a few days of zero buying and one day here, the previous day, but all of a sudden, boosh, 270. So this is the fourth largest day that IBIT inflows have experienced and seen. It's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Okay, they're still continuing to accumulate. So Bitcoin bull flags in this bull cycle market. There was a flag there, I showed you that. In fact, let's go and have a look at my chart here. Boom, boom, boom. Where did I put that chart for us? Let us go and see. Yeah, this is the chart. So, okay. So let's zoom in a little bit, guys. All the way from down here. One times blue flag, another times blue flag, another times blue flag. Um, this was kind of upward sloping bull flag over here, but not really. And then guess what? Boom and capitulation, another bull flag, and another bull flag, and another bull flag essentially happening. And there's my target for the bull flag. That's all the way up at 103k. Just like I have been telling you guys for some time now. So the bull flags are just absolutely imminent. And I dig the picture there. It's just it's going ballistic. So the BTC spot ETF competition for liquidity is fierce. Yesterday's net inflow was $887 million. Would you like to see what that looks like? Um, in terms of how much Bitcoin essentially was accumulated in the market yesterday? Cool, let's go and have a look here. So $887 million, 887, one, two, three, one, two, three. Ah, sorry, wrong way around. Yeah, nobody's, there you go. So 12,488 Bitcoin were essentially, 12,489 Bitcoin were essentially accumulated yesterday during those inflows. Mad, mad. Just on that day, 12,500 out of the 21 million that are available. That's mad, guys. Sure. I think you can see what it is that I'm saying. 46 days into this halving, okay, you can see here, where you know the black dots are essentially where the uh, cycle peaks start to happen are we experiencing where we've just got like one or two black dots in fact yeah there's the halving sorry it's this red line halving four boom okay so halving point 
every single time after the hog we have seen a massive pump here okay so we're only getting started and the black dots haven't even <sighs> guys i think we're gonna do something just very much like one one and two halving one and two let me know what you you think down below because massive demand from the etfs price jumped to 71k it's just getting bigger and bigger okay these are the ETF trackers. The holdings of BlackRock are nearly 300,000 Bitcoin. They are way more than Grayscale right now at 285. Fidelity is not far behind. ARK at 50,000. Bitwise at 37. Van Eck at 10. Valkyrie at 86. Invesco 72. Guys, oh, accumulate, accumulate, accumulate. If you are enjoying this so far, then make sure you are part of my community and uh, I would truly appreciate if you could share some love for the community because everybody wants to know what is next for crypto. So, according to the real plan C, there has been a breakthrough in using the power law to time market tops and bottoms. So the deviation in the Euclidean uh, distance from power law. In the green zone, that is time to buy. In the red zone, that is time to sell okay we kind of just came out of the buy zone so is it a good time to buy it's not excuse me it's not the best time to buy but it is absolutely certainly a very good time to buy okay even if you 2x your cash it is a very good place to look at so uh trader party grade are you ready for the next bitcoin pump so we had this pump boom breakout flag boom pump boom break yeah capitulation boom pump up break up flag boom next pump i wonder what the next pump is there you go there's 100k on top it just keeps showing us that we're going to 100k next that's the next leg up with these inflows coming soon so uh bitcoin is moving just like the 2013 to 2017 look out for the bull run coming i have been telling you for months on my channel in all of my videos okay i have been saying that this accumulation period is very much like 2013 to 2017. i have been saying this for a long time so you know double bottom double bottom w shape smash through on this train guess what boom we hit the bottom and then we have this long pump to the upside guess what we're just kind of tapping on that bottom range here right now get ready to break the all-time highs boom this chart is telling us we could even reach possibly like 660,000, nearly even a million possibly what do you think down in the comments below for me i think that's a, a decent target but my target is of course the 300k target 285 to 300k by the 25th of October, 2025. That's my target, okay? Altcoins, it's definitely time for altcoins to, to catch a very, very, very beautiful rally. Altcoins haven't even caught up yet to where Bitcoin has essentially made its move. So you can see here that we're just getting on the move on the altcoin market cap. It is coming, whether you like it or not. Now, I wanna share this video here. Shout out to Alexander Grieve, the SEC Chair Gensler on CNB Squawkbox this morning. Note the pivot from all tokens are securities to tokens lack proper disclosure. Kramer asked about other token ETS. Gensler dodges, as usual, into crypto bankruptcies as an answer for why crypto bad and the SEC is good. Let's go and listen to what he has to say here. Asked. Okay. Now, uh, Polkadot. Cordana, Cosmos, Immutable, Ronin, Bonk, Osmosis, Sushi Swap, my neighbor Alice have all traded millions. I'm talking about millions of dollars this very morning. No, do we? Should we have a Sushi Swap? With, uh, 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 maybe an ETF uh, or the proprietary kind. Just of I would think that Bonk is a natural and Osmosis. These are trading millions. Gary, these are millions of dollars. These things are trading. Shouldn't we have it? Shouldn't so, we have me, some sort of product? Let me let me say something more broadly about the crypto markets. Right now, without prejudging anyone, these tokens, whether they're the ones Jim listed or other tokens, have not 
given you the disclosures that you not only need to make your investment decisions, but also that are required by the law. It's a basic concept in our securities market. We, the SEC, tomorrow are turning 90. Happy birthday, SEC, 90. And what President Roosevelt did is he created this commission to oversee that you, the investors, get disclosure. And in the crypto... I just want to say something there. So the SEC turned 90. Maybe it's a little bit of an outdated system and maybe it needs a refreshed outlook on this space because it has no line of sight on what these are actually. And these are digital assets which don't really fall under the SEC's guidelines. The markets, they aren't giving you that disclosure. And secondly, that exchanges like, like here, this floor of the New York Stock Exchange, get properly regulated to protect against fraud and manipulation, and they don't trade against you. And these crypto exchanges, Jim, are doing things we would never allow this New York Stock Exchange to do. Our laws don't allow you to trade against your customers. And so you've seen the bankruptcies in this space, and there are, there are some of the most leading lights in this field are either in jail, about to go to jail, or waiting extradition. Wait till you hear what Mr. Jim Cramer has to say here. He was caught with his pants down, okay, and and openly saying in front of the head of the SEC that he has a shitcoin himself. And watch what Gary Gensler has to say. Okay, well, that's a suboptimal situation for them, but I'm looking at the- But it's a suboptimal situation for investors. You are investing in a field right now that you're not getting the proper disclosure. Agree, there's securities for people actually I know. I mean, their names. And there's nothing, you know that too. No, that's funny, yeah. I mean, some people even in this room have their names put the a coin for no reason. Makes no sense. I'm sorry, you guys have coins? No, I, we don't, there's we do a Kramer not. coin? There should be, but there isn't. Yes, there is a Kramer coin. I, I hope it's I hope it's properly registered. Well, I Jim. wasn't going to bring it up because now it's a pumping dock. Like, wow, Kramer point. I was not going to bring it up. There you go. Chair now, Gensler, wait. Can in, I, in the, we have a little, only a little bit. And just look how sheepishly Kramer looks away from Gensler because he knows he's in the wrong. He knows the conversation that he's having here is exactly what SEC has been trying to avoid. And this dude on the show, you all, we all know about Jim Kramer. Okay, so. But a time the now. SEC versus Ripple Labs. Ripple. Right. Dave, what do you want to add? Oh, there so you go. I do of the SEC. So, as you can see here. All right, enough of the SEC. As you can see here, Gary Gensler and his cronies continue to just talk a bunch of rubbish into your ears. So, let's move on from them. And shout out to the altcoin daily for the Bitcoin ETF flows are getting insane. Okay. The daily inflows are literally just cruising, okay? So these are the accumulation, um, how many were accumulated on each day. And then this is the starting points of the accumulation. Started off at 2.7K in early January and is now, oh I mean, geez, like guys, we're way above that number. Here. So massive, massive um, happenings there. So this is another video from uh, Franklin Templeton, CEO on Bitcoin ETF adoption says this is the really the first wave of the early adopters. The next wave is much bigger institutions. Let's go and listen to what she has to say. Let's talk about spot Bitcoin ETFs. Uh, we're five months in. You guys have roughly $420 million in assets under management collectively across all the spot ETFs. We're looking at around $58 billion in AUM. How are you feeling about things, uh, you know, nearly halfway through the year? I mean, on the, the, the spot Bitcoin ETF, we're feeling really good about it, actually. Uh, we are the lowest provider in the market. And, uh, uh, you know, I think we've been happy with the growth. And so what's next? Are you looking to capture more market share or optimize for the clients? 100%. We we're, we're hoping that people will be fee sensitive and we'll capture more market share. Uh, and as, as people become more interested in the space, you know, you, you have a lot of firms that are a little bit in a wait and see mode. So you haven't even gotten that second wave. Like this is really the first wave of the early adopters. And I think the next wave is the much bigger institutions who get more comfortable with kind of how it's settled out. I hope you heard that. Because what Franklin Tim Templeton CEO just said was this is another wave with much bigger institutions that will be incoming. So 
if the accumulation points have just been the mere 290,000 plus a little bit more Bitcoin, sure guys, sure, sure, sure. I hope you are enjoying this because you can see here that the inflows, again, the ETF inflows are the second biggest. Wave one ETF inflows took Bitcoin from 37K to 73K. Wave two of inflows are just getting started. So 100K is definitely on the way. And if much bigger institutions are coming in with more money, demand is much higher, supply is much less. What do you think is going to happen? Let me know down in the comments below because we're probably going to see a price just that we probably all don't realize at this point. So that being said, just in the Bitcoin um, will be worth at least half the gold market cap uh, cap of gold. Gold is 15.9 trillion. Bitcoin is currently 1.4. That would mean Bitcoin is a price of 400K. So that's probably gonna happen this time, okay? Right now we're sitting with Bitcoin at a very strong $71,000. And if we're saying it's gonna go to 70, uh, sorry, four hundred thousand dollars. What's that like? A seven x for you, six x for you on your money already? Shoshkoloshkas, nearly nine hundred million into the ETFs. That's right, close to one billion in inflows in a single day. Five months after the launch, I was told several months ago that all of the DGN retail investors who wanted to buy had already done so, and there was nobody left. But how can this be? Well, guess what? The institutions are coming in everybody is coming in now with the total market cap the total two it hasn't had its buy signal but it has had a breakout it's currently retesting okay the total three including ethereum had a strong buy signal here with the ut bots giving us the buy it's testing the uh, uh, the ejection of the candle the dominance is chilling here and the band is from the ema is flipping Ethereum is busy breaking out. If you got, if you watched my Ethereum short slot here yesterday for you, I did a short and the Ethereum price is going to jump through the roof too. It's just all getting started. We are literally at the beginning of a major, major, major trend. Now, if we go to this chart on the weekly, we can see that during a bull cycle, we can see that tops it tops one two and three four times we have we've got one top so far so possibly another three to five more tops on the rsi to get us to that actual peak in bitcoin and with a very strong buy signal happening here as i mentioned you guys should be hitting my trading links down below making some good cash like i am and subscribing to my channels because i bring absolute awesome value to you every single day on this channel thank you for being here and part of my community i appreciate you and hope you appreciate this